I just listened to Itzy's newest album, Born to Be, and here are my opinions on the tracks. Let's start with Born to Be, which is a B side for some reason. I don't get why. I love this song. 10 out of 10. What makes this song so good is the choreo, and especially the way the girls executed it. Itzy has, I feel like, the best dance line in 4th gen. Every time I hear this song, I always dance to it because the choreo complements the song so good and it makes the song even better. Also, the girls are singing in the lower register. They aren't screaming anymore. <laughs> this makes the song really good too. Untouchable, a 10 out of 10, obviously. Amazing song. And I feel so sad Leah is not on this track. This song would be perfect for her voice color and I'm sad we don't get to hear it until she's back. The song also gives me third gen vibes because I feel like the chorus reminds me of Breakthrough by Twice. I hope you'll get what I mean. I love the girls are singing the lower register. <laughs> it's amazing. It's a great song. Mr. Empire, 8 out of 10 for me. I love the instrumental. The song sounds, it sounds like Itzy. It has an Itzy sound, not NCT. Some people online said, oh, the instrumental reminds me of NCT. No, this is Itzy. This is what Itzy sounds like. I'm not even a Mitzi. And Ryujin carried the song with her singing. I'm not familiar with Itzy and their music. And when I heard Mr. Vampire and Ryujin singing, I was like, wait, why the fuck is this girl a rapper? She should be the main vocalist of Itzy. Why the fuck is she rapping? Her voice color is everything. The way she sings, everything. I think she's my bias now. I did not know this girl could sing so beautifully. And we need to hear more of Ryunjin singing, please. Dynamite. Underwhelming. I don't really like the lazy rapping or whatever you might call this rapping style. The song sounds very mid. And I feel like, I feel like if JYP would have released this song with a performance video, I would have liked it better. You know, sometimes the choreo can make a song better and Dynamite is just underwhelming. I like the pre-chorus though. The chorus, <laughs> why does the chorus sound like something you would hear in an ad for an athletic wear brand? Now until the girls' solos, crown on my head. I feel like this would have been a great solo debut track, to be honest. And I cannot wait for Ye Ji to leave JYP because they're holding her back. She's a phenomenal dancer. She can sing, she can rap. I just wish the girls would also have the opportunity to um, perform their solo tracks on music shows. This is really good. Like, I feel like if they also would have released this song, actually, if it was in English and the full song would have had a music video she could have gone viral with because this is a really good song blossom by leah i hope to everyone who listened to this album they also read the lyrics to blossom because it's sad it's very sad and i just hope that leah when she comes back she will be in a better state of health not only mentally but also physically this song is really my something i would listen to but i still like it and especially the way leah sings in her lower register what stood out to me about the song is that the song didn't really rhyme a lot of times which made you focus on the lyrics run away six out of ten for me listen i love the pre-chorus and the bridge the rest is not my cup of tea it's generic it's something i just would not really listen to ryujin is a phenomenal singer this girl can sing. I do not understand why JYP has been holding her back and why she's known as a rapper, although this girl should have been a singer. Now, Chaeryong, her song 9 is really good. It's really good. For me, it's an 8 out of 10 because firstly, it's too short. The other girls have songs over 3 minutes. Why is her song so fucking short, JYP? The chorus is a bit too high pitched. I feel like it should have been lower. What I like about the song, it really fits her voice color, but unpopular opinion i think nine by cherion should have been a jazz song or a ballad the song should have been slower this would have made the song ten thousand times better 
The song is really good though, but it would have been better if it was slower. Yet But by Yuna. Listen, the song is very k pop y It's giving Disney. <laughs> it's very cute, but what the fuck was this song doing on this album? The entire album is giving girl crush concept, dark vibes. But Yuna, what, what is this high pitch, cute ass concept song doing on this album? It makes no sense to me. And I just wonder what JYP's team was thinking, pushing the song out when it does not fit the entire album. Also, I don't like the way Yuna is singing in the song. I just do not, I do not like JYP singers and this nasally thing that is going on. I forgot what it's called. I do not like it. And last but not least, Escalator. Listen, the first time I heard this song, I was like, wait, why do I feel like this song was written for another artist? The chorus ruined it for me because the lyrics are trash. I have nothing against the instrumental, but the song, the, the lyrics, no. I'm not losing like King the Lewis. No, 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 no. I like the pre-chorus though. I like the pre-chorus, but the chorus, no, it, it ruined the song for me. It's a no, no. It's a typical noise music song, crush concept song. Maybe that's why I feel like I've heard this song before. It sounds very familiar. To sum up the album, I would say it's a bit polarizing. It has very good songs, very good parts in it. Then there are also tracks that I just wonder why the hell they put them into the album because it does not fit the vibes or the lyrics are fucking trash. On the other hand, listen, I'm glad we got to hear solo tracks from the members. And I just hope that in the near future, the Etsy members will have the opportunity to release official solo music and not only get to have a few solo tracks on their albums. But yeah, that's how I feel about Etsy's album, Born To Be.